Because to make an idea fly, you first have to express it. The best way we know to get an idea off the ground is through Apple Desktop Media. We call it media, but you can express your ideas in print, on slides, or live on the computer itself. Desktop, because that's what make it happen. Apple, because we're the people who started the Luna Desktop. Putting you even further. Apple Desktop Media starts with one tool, a Macintosh personal computer. One tool that can be used in many ways. So you can choose the most appropriate meeting for your message and audience. I did application easily show on a color slide, in an interactive presentation, or in an animated demonstration using sound and motion. We'll take you to four places around the country where individuals are putting Apple desktop media to work. Different people with different ideas using the same tool to express them. An ad agency like Jordan McGrath in New York is in business to communicate. Apple Desktop Media helps them find new ways to get their ideas across, not just to the play, but to their clients as well. The agency uses the Macintosh to lay out ads, design publications, and to present storyboards with sound and motion. This is the spot where we discuss the benefit of the natural flavors in the, the oatmeal. And I don't care what kind of commercial you produce, and I don't care what it costs. If you don't communicate the message, if you don't sell your client's product, you've wasted your money. I'm an old-time art director. I'm 48 years old. I don't even know how to type. And I looked at these machines. I said, my God, what am I going to do with this? You know? <laughs> I didn't even play video games with my kids. But I decided that we're going to get these and we're going to learn how to use them. And I've got everybody, all 10 people in the studio now who know how to operate Mac. Right now, in 10 minutes on the Mac, I can revise an ad six different ways and, and take a label and, and change it six different ways. If I didn't have the Mac, it would take the studio two days to do that same amount of work. I don't have the time. I w we would be losing money. The problem with conventional storyboards is that it's a long step from the storyboard to the finished commercial. And it's a problem in understanding what the final commercial is going to look like and feel like as well. You see, when you're making cereal with flavors, you got two choices. You make the flavors out of chemicals, or you can do it like Grace does and pick right. off the tree. That's a quick answer because it was the most effective simulation machine. We could incorporate sound and graphics easily, plus give the user the ability to bring motion in without complicated techniques and, and uh, hardware. You know, when you make cereals with flavors in them, you got two choices. You know, when you make cereals with flavors in them, you got two choices. Clip allows me to take a flat storyboard, something with no sound, and bring it to life, put it into the computer, and have it tell a story. You can take your artwork, and you take your soundtrack, and it brings them together, and you have control over timing. You have control over the images. What do you think? That's terrific. When we present this to the client, they're very surprised because they don't know what we're going to show them. They don't expect to see anything like this. It's easy, it's fast, and it's inexpensive. And today, agencies and clients both have to find ways in, to communicate the message and find out what it is and how to communicate and do it for less money. Even when you're not in the business of communicating, your business depends on clear communication. At Arco Los Angeles, people express ideas in many ways, including 200-page publications, detailed maps, and live presentations to senior management. Arco first put the Macintosh to work, publishing an offering circular on its AMPM mini market franchise. We figured that uh, the last time we had done the offering circular by professional printing, we had a pretty good idea that it cost us around $62,000 to produce the book. Now, first time we did it, the Macintosh, we made our mistakes. We used a little overtime. We weren't as, quite as efficient as we should have been. And it cost us about $13,000.
So our net savings on that was almost $50,000 for that one book, and we do issue six or seven of them a year. Now, as soon as we got finished with the prospectus books, it became evident, hey, you know, if we can use it for this, why can't we use it for a whole lot of other things? All of our terminals have diagrams of how a driver should route himself to a service station and how she, he should make his entry and exit on the site. We determined that it would be very helpful if those were put into common format so everyone could read them and they all look the same. Before we're on a little, uh, about a five by six piece of cardboard that somebody just sat at a desk and, and drew and when things changed, nothing got updated. We've begun to make our first attempts at using HyperCard as a presentation media in our quarterly reviews to a senior management, which has been very effective for myself and my counterparts, uh, rather than using the standard overhead slides, which are a little difficult to manipulate. The actual HyperCard stack was made up by my secretary, who got in with all equipment managers and put the information that they wanted in their presentations into the HyperCard stack. Uh, make sure that each of the departments had different effect, like a barn door or a wipe or whatever. The reaction to the presentation was quite positive, and let's to look at that means to make other presentations. And it's always nice for me to have someone come in office and say, I just found something new that I can do, and it's going to be a problem for me. It's, it's an enthusiasm that builds, and there's a, uh, there's a sense of, of discovery about uh, learning something new that is going to help you do your work a little better. Discovering new ways to get things done is at the heart of working with Macintosh. At GTE in Indiana, managers have discovered they can use Macintosh itself to convey critical and complex information to their employees with the extra impact of sound and motion. Dan Rice teaches field repairmen how to detect air pressure leaks in underground telephone cables. The cables are pressurized to keep water out. I, I believe that the prop prior to using the Mac in the picture type of format that we had was that the student really never got involved in the process. He learned the theory, he had it up in his head. There's really no way, good way for him to take that and apply it directly in a simulated or a hands-on environment. So you're first fiber did again. Your balance is 16.2. You're at 9,000 some feet out. Right. The water is making this look electrically longer. Oh, yeah, OK. For me to be persuaded this was worth pursuing and selling uh, in the higher echelons of GTE, I feel that it was cost effective and training effective. So we did our research to find out is this a possibility? And we knew we were going to take some risks because it really hadn't been done anywhere before. Well, we had several reasons with the Macintosh. Number one was that it was graphic. The other thing that also helps with the Macintosh is that we can integrate the digitized sounds, such as a, if a student goes over to app, takes a reading, and there's five pounds, he hears the sound that that particular tool would uh, admit at that particular device. It's uh, almost identical to uh, what we have on this area here. As far as the, uh, the digital air pressure gauges and soap buckets and uh, all the uh, apparatus that we use to find leak detections, it, uh, it's very familiar. And that's the leak. The, the reaction of the student is they're, they enjoy it. That's the big difference. Uh, they look forward to coming in. Uh, you come in on your lunch hour, and, and there are some of your students working. They're doing it on their own time. They're, they're enjoying it. If you can make training fun, that's, that's the secret of learning. Apple Desktop Media is a powerful way to communicate. But you don't have to be a large organization to make it work for you. On an island off the coast of Maine, Apple Desktop Media is helping one individual make a difference in her community. My name is Agatha Cabanis, and I am the owner chief executive officer, floor sweeper, coffee maker of Islesboro Publishing Company. The major issue on the island today is the viability of the year-round community. Development pressures, rising taxes are pushing people off the island. You haven't a town if you haven't a newspaper, because people in town get with each other. I think it's a very good paper. I think it's uh, needed. It uh, lets the Island people knows what's going on. 
Well, the publishing of Isles Island News, with the exception of what services are rendered by Samantha Cat, is totally done by one person with two Macintosh computers. The first thing was to realize the Mac wasn't going to blow up in my face. I was terrified that if I hit the wrong key, I would do something horrible. But after I got the hang of it, it was a snap. And the wonderful thing is that I can open any program and at least run it. I may not know what to do with it. And the other day, somebody brought me some work to print with a completely strange program, and I could run it. There is no way on this earth that one person can do what I'm doing without a Macintosh computer. And what is it? As one company says, reach out and touch, but I guess I do it tangibly. Rather than over a wire, I reach out and touch with paper and a Macintosh and a laser printer. In fields as diverse as advertising and telecommunication, in places as different as rural Maine and downtown Los Angeles, people are finding a better way to communicate their ideas. Apple desktop media. Publications, slides and overhead, presentations with sight, sound, and motion. No matter how complex the point you need to communicate, Apple desktop media makes the process easier and more successful. Because it gives you a choice of media and the ability to control the media to express your ideas more powerfully than ever before. Because a good idea is only the beginning.